because you're never allowed to see but there are chains preventing the dome from spreading but then Wren when he did St Paul's in London very cleverly put in a brick cone and had a plaster dome inside that and then a wooden dome on the outside of the brick cone and then he held this great big honking lantern at the top That's right. the cone. and you can not quite as big as St. Peter's as well. Right. I think you can, that's, that's, there's a, you know, a section of St. Paul's fitting inside St. Peter's Rome. Uh, yeah, and it probably does fit. Yeah. I have to say, not just because I'm English, but I think St. Paul's, at least the geometry, is a bit far more elegant than St. Peter's. It's a heresy to say that. <laughs> They're beautiful intersections of so, various geometric forms. Well, those are lovely, amazing. Clara, thank you for showing them. I love those up there, too. This is one of my favorites, it's just that, that elegant catenary form. This one is, I'm re I really like this one, and I, I will, I will someday I think we'll get, we have to get around to doing some tests on it. But that's a, a tension structure yeah. and a compression arch. And what happens is that if you repeat this thing, you end up getting the bending moment curve for a continuous span. Yeah. yeah. With the inflection points here. Yeah. Well, apropos of that, of course, the great English engineer, Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Mm. How about that for a name? <laughs> I didn't know all of his names. He made a railroad <laughs> bridge in Devon. And. Um, that was similar. You had piers and had an arch over the top spanning between the piers made of a, an oval section, some boilerplate structure, mm -hmm. a tube, a hollow tube, and then a suspension cable because the tube, when loaded, would push the columns out, right. but the suspension cable brought them, them back, back in, again. and so they don't move, which is Beautiful, you know the Salt Ash Salt Bridge. Salt Ash, Salt 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 yeah. There are two spans on there, and alongside it is a very boring and conventional really close road to it. bridge. Just really um, horribly close to it. Cramps it style, yeah. How could they do that? 